Hi, this is Brandon with Precision Defensive Solutions, and today we're going to talk about why I chose to put a light on the gun. Well, simply this, added weight. I know everybody's going to sit here and go, wait a minute, you mean, you know, you don't want to be a tactical guy and you don't, you're not going to use it for the light? No, that wasn't the purpose of it. The purpose of it was the additional weight to help with the recoil mitigation. Um, again, everything that I, I do has to have a specific purpose. And one of the things that I did was to uh, help with the weight of the gun to help with a more consistent uh, uh, draw um, to kind of balance out the gun because I was kind of coming this way because I was coming so quickly. Um, and as a result, I was throwing my shots um, because my hands are quite fast uh, and it was affecting the way that I, I was doing things. Now, that presentation of up and out uh, is allowing me to go more of a straight line. So that, that extra weight is helping there. On the recoil, uh, I'm, I'm staying within a two inch circle. Uh, I've, got a, uh, I've actually got a picture on our Facebook page of where I did three shots into a two inch circle at 10 feet in 0.76. Um, now, somebody's already asked me if I did that from the draw. No, I didn't do it from the draw. I did it from ready. I was on target, timer went off, bang, bang, bang. Um, so still an average of quarter second splits into a two inch circle, okay? Now, if you think it's easy, go out and try it and post it on YouTube and find out what happens, okay? Uh, you're gonna find that it's much more difficult than what you think it is. With the extra weight of the light, that really helped mitigate uh, the recoil, the, the muzzle rise, so I was able to shoot a little quicker. Big bonus to me. Now, I know you're probably still sitting there going, yeah, he's gonna use the light, blah, blah, blah. I had to get, uh, the Filster arc switches um, to uh, change out on each one of the lights to be able to barely, barely touch the end of the, the switch. I cannot reach up and touch it from up here like a lot of people. I can only barely catch the back end of it to turn it on. From a defensive standpoint, that is not advantageous. It's one of those things that if you think it's only for the light, it's not. Um, I carry a handheld light and I recommend that if you are carrying a gun with a light on it that you also carry a good handheld light um, because pointing guns at things just to look for things with the light is not an option is not an option. That's kind of the way I've gone uh, with my, my gun setup. Keeping in mind that I have kept that the holsters very consistent. So this is the uh, Haven Defense uh, Co. holster. Uh, you can see a link uh, for them in the, in the description. You know, please go out and check them out. They make outstanding holsters um, and get you a, a nice holster and, and use the 10% off uh, on, the, on the link. Um, and this is the, also the Haven Defense uh, co holster that I had done for the guns with the um, Streamlight TLR uh, one. Why? Well, you gotta have a holster for it, right? So you're not cramming your gun just down your pants. So consistency again, folks. Be safe, hope this helps you out. We'll talk to you soon.